If you want to win a set of seeds saved from my garden, keep watching. Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to Oxheart Gardening. For anybody new here, I am gardening in South Carolina Zone 7B. And what I like to do in my garden is show you everything that I'm trying and how it either succeeds or fails in a realistic way so that you can build realistic expectations for your own garden and also learn along the way with me. So for those of us here in the US, which is where most of you are, according to analytics, um, December is the time of year when a lot of us are not thinking about gardening. And I wanted to make this giveaway during the month of December because in December and January is the time when a lot of us are or should be thinking about buying seeds for the next season. And I know it feels a little early, but based on the way that we saw seeds sell out in 2020 and even some in 2021, I think getting your seeds early can be a really good idea so that you have what you want for the next growing season. I also think that giving somebody a little bit of hope for the garden and positivity in this really cold and dreary month of December and into January is really important because you need to remember why it is that you want to garden and grow stuff when everything outside looks kind of sad. So with those two things in mind, I wanted to do a giveaway of seeds that I have saved from my own garden. This is excess bounty that I knew that I wasn't going to be able to use and I wanted to share with you guys. And I wanted to do it in the form of a giveaway, not just to be fair, but also to help create more of a community on this channel. So far, the people who do comment and interact with me are really, really sweet people. But I know that there's a lot of you who don't. And I want this giveaway to help you feel more comfortable interacting with me, as well as helping you to enter to win the seeds. So before I get into all of the nitty gritty details of how to, let me show you what seeds you're gonna get if you win. So first off, I have mixed sunflower seeds. These are from the beautiful, colorful sunflowers that I grew over the summer here. Some of them were red, some of them were kind of orangey, some of them were yellow, and I did not pay attention to what colors of sunflower I was saving from. So this is a bit of a mixed bag, but they should all be really gorgeous. Next is a bag of Chinese red noodle beans. These are one of my fast favorites in the garden. This is the second year I've grown them and I will probably grow them every single year from now on. They are not only gorgeous, but really productive and delicious to eat. This is what I have been calling glass gem corn. So I actually got some seeds from some other fellow YouTubers last year and they were some corn seeds that they had had that had cross pollinated with the stuff that they had and I planted the seeds that they gave me and I got a variety of things, but it mostly looked like glass gem corn to me. And so I have saved seeds from that beautiful corn that I grew and split them up among you guys. So next I have the black Spanish radish. This was a very productive radish for me and I actually had a lot more fun saving the pods of this radish than eating the actual radish, which is why I ended up with so many seeds. Um, they have great germination though, and I think that they would be a really great addition to any fall garden. Next up is the purple Russian tomato. So those of you who've been following me know that I did the single seed challenge for the first time last year. And this is a challenge put on by Scott Head over at Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. And I chose the purple Russian tomato for that challenge. And so I followed it all the way through from single seed to first fruit to saving seeds from that fruit to really encapsulate the idea of what a single seed is powerful, or sorry, the power of a single seed, what it can do. And so now I wanted to share the seeds that I saved from that experiment, from that challenge with you guys. So that's what this is. Next up, I have the fish pepper. This pepper is one of the prettiest peppers I've ever grown. It's the one that, if you followed my garden tours, I was always bragging about how beautiful the variegation was on the leaves. And the actual peppers themselves are variegated and kind of striped until they ripen fully and turn red. And so I think this is a really beautiful pepper to grow in your garden. All right, next, you guys know I love 
purple things. So of course I had to include a purple lettuce in this mix. This is Rouge de Vire, which is winter red. And this lettuce is possibly one of the prettiest colored lettuces I've ever seen. So I had to include some of that for you. Next up, I've got a packet of dill seeds. This is actually one of the first plants that I saved seeds from uh, last year. And because it's one of the first that I did, it's one of the easiest plants to save seeds from once you let it go to seed. And I actually, the dill that I had this past year was reseeded from this. And so I had quite a bit of this left over. And I thought that that would be something really special to share with you guys as well. All right, and the last one is possibly one of my most very favorite things I grew this past year, which is cinnamon basil. Now, cinnamon basil is not so useful in the traditional pesto sense of basil, but it was so fragrant. The flowers were purple and beautiful, and every time I came into the garden, I could just smell the aroma coming at me if I rustled by the bush. And it was so amazing. I, I want all of you to be able to share in this smell experience with me. Um, and that's why I'm including the cinnamon basil. Now, if you wanted to use it culinarily, there are definitely things you can do with it. I was putting it in curries, which I thought was really interesting. And I'm sure that a lot of people will have uh, really interesting suggestions for you if you do quite a little bit of Googling. Um, but this one is my favorite out of all of these that I'm giving. All right, and so I have three sets of these seeds to give away. And here's where I tell you the rules of entering. So first things first, this is for US-based people only. And for those of you who are not US-based, I am so sorry. In the future, I'll be running more international giveaways, but given that this is my first one, I wanna keep it really simple and keep shipping to US only. So getting back to how you enter and how I want it to help build community here. So starting with this video and every video through the end of December, if you comment on that video, up to one comment equals one entry. So you could comment multiple times, but that's still only going to equal one entry per video that you comment on. And I don't say this just because I want you to comment hi or whatever for the entry. I really, really want to encourage you to interact with my channel and with the other people here on my channel. Those people down in the comments that you see on my videos are good people and they have good ideas. Um, and additionally, I wanna to get to know you as the gardener who's watching my channel. If you can't think of anything to comment, tell me what your gardening situation is like. Tell me the sorts of plants that you've grown or think that you want to grow and maybe your location so that I can get a better idea of where people are based and tell me what you want to learn about gardening. Tell me what you don't know so that I can better help you. And I really hope that you will get more comfortable <laughs> interacting with me and telling me about what's going on with you so that I can do a better job talking about things that are important to you. Yeah, come here. Of course, Draco just had to say hi. <laughs> so in terms of videos that you guys can expect, to be able to comment on. There's this one. I put out garden tours every Wednesday, but I probably will not do one the week of Christmas. And I put out a second video each week on either Saturday or Sunday. Um, and those topics are varied. So any of those videos will work. Again, you'll get one entry per single comment on a video, right? You can't double dip on the same video, but you can comment on every single video leading up to the end of December. So if I put out five videos, then you have the opportunity for five entries if you comment on each of those videos. In January, I will put out a video announcing the three winners, which will be chosen at random. And from there, I will ask the three winners to email me addresses so that I can send them their seeds. Alrighty, I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and for following my garden. And I hope to get to know some of you a lot better in the coming videos. All righty, Draco. You ready to say bye? Say bye. See you later, guys. Happy gardening.